for making with Making Change Men Mentoring. And today I'm coming to you with a message um, actually that, I, that came from a conversation with me and a friend of mine at the gym. He brought up a situation that's, that's pretty common uh, in our society, but the actual conversation itself, I think, doesn't come up as much as it needs to. So he explained to me that, uh, you know, there's a child um, in his life that doesn't have his father around. And, you know, the child's getting to an age where, you know, th that conversation kind of needs to come up. You know, like, where is my father? You know, how do you tell a child about their father that's not present? You know, um, how does that whole thing work? So today I'd love to give you some uh, pointers, some tips. Uh, something to think about, you know, if you find yourself in that situation or if you know somebody that has a situation like this, you know, definitely have them check out this video. And so after our conversation, you know, and I had time to kind of think about it on the way home the next day, the next day, I was like, you know, this seems like a video that's necessary because I, I know me personally. I know a lot of single mothers, um, you know, that are raising boys and, um, you know, their father is not in their lives, you know, and that's a delicate situation, uh, you know, to, to deal with. You know? And if you need some assistance with it or some help, hopefully this video will do you a solid. So I look at it in three steps, pretty much. When to tell them, what to tell them, and how to tell them. So when, when should I actually tell the child? Two, um, you know, what should I say to them? And then three, how should I do this? So let's take the first one. Um, when to tell the child. I think the first thing to discuss is have they asked about their father, you know, or have they made comments about their dad? I think once it's noticeable or realized by the child themselves, then that's a good time to discuss it. Number two, what to tell the child. This one can be a little bit tricky. Um, I think it really depends on the reasons the father is not in the child's life. So is it from like a broken relationship? Um, is the father in prison or did you never have a relationship with the father in the first place? You should also keep in mind that this is a tough subject, you know, and it may even need to be discussed in like multiple segments because it, it could be too uh, complicated. Um, it could be too emotional or, you know, you might want to do it in segments because you might want to leave time for, you know, the child to reflect and they might come up with other questions that they might want to ask you. So it's kind of good to do it in segments that way it's not just dumping a whole lot on them um you know all at once and for the third um third part how to tell them focus on being appropriate for their level of comprehension you know if you're dealing with a three-year-old you know then you're going to talk to them like they are a teenager right and if you're dealing with a teenager you're not going to talk to them like they're a three-year-old you want to make sure that you know you're clear with what you're saying you don't want to go too deep over their head with information and you don't want to go too shallow either, not really giving them enough because of some outcomes that can come from that are giving them the wrong impression and leaving them confused or being unsatisfied with unanswered questions. With this one, I feel like honesty is a good thing to keep in mind because you never want the child to grow up feeling like you hid something from them or you were being dishonest. So a couple examples, if the reason the father's not in the child's life is because of a broken relationship, you know, then I think it's okay to tell them, you know, that, well, you know, mommy and daddy, um, you know, didn't get along that well, you know, and we decided that it would be best for us not to be together so we could both be happy or, you know, something like that. Um, if the father is in prison, you know, then, you know, well, daddy made some, you know, some not so good decisions when he was younger or, you know, whatever, however long it was, you know, and, you know, he's kind of, you know, deal with the consequences of those, you know, yada, 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 yada. You know, you can go into detail as much as you need to about that. Um, now, the other one is extremely tricky. If, like, you have a child, but then you never, ever even really, you know, had a relationship with the dad at all, and it was kind of like just a one-time type thing, then that's, that's a little more <laughs> difficult to deal with. And I recommend that you seek some professional assistance with that kind of uh, advice. All right, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the information inside was valuable to you. If so, please leave a comment. You can reach out and contact us at MCM underscore mentoring LLC on Instagram. Again, that's MCM like making changed men underscore mentoring LLC. You can DM me there. You can email me 
at uh, Cameron, C-A-M-R-O-N dot Macon, M-A-C-O-N at MakingChangeMen.com. Uh, we have a blog on our website, www.MakingChangeMen.com. So there's a lot of different you know, ways to reach me. Um, also, a YouTube page is just one word, Making Changed Men. So um, you can check out there for more videos. Look online for our blog that discuss different kind of topics like this that might be helpful for you or for someone else that you know. Until next time, thank you guys for checking in. I'll check you later.